What's up guys? Over here in uh, pretty much a big clubhouse that we do that's part of a community. They have, you know, a ballroom and uh, game rooms and stuff like that, but we do the maintenance on here. I've been doing a lot of um, adding fresh air intakes and things like that. And one thing I noticed was on this unit, this is a Lennox, is um, you ever go to a unit and you hear swishing and swashing of the inducer and water stuff, you think there's pretty much a condensate line clog. Um, but on these, you have to be careful when they, when it was initially installed, you, you can go either left or right with the fresh air and the exhaust, or left or right with the trap, the condensate trap. Um, so they chose to go left and go that way. They probably sh they should have put the exhaust on that side. Um, you have two two hoses, one coming from here and coming down, and one from the, um, the heat exchanger and out. Um, but the only problem with that is when the system is running, the condensate line is pitched this way and supposed to go out, but it falls into the inducer. So they make a kit. That's what I'm going to do now. Make a kit. It's a 76M20 drain trap kit. So, and this is just a, another example to show you. This is currently how it is. These are capped. The exhaust, instead of re running all the way over here and out, it does fall into there and collect in there. So we will take off that, this one, cap it. Um, you're supposed to take off the forward one, go into the exchanger, and shorten it and put it in the second hole closest to the exchanger and run the new hose that they provide to here. And then you just uh, leave this one be. Pretty cut and dry, but makes sense. Uh, there is, this one is actually twinned. There's two sets of twins up here. Um, four units for the ballroom. And then uh, this other set of twins. And then there's two more units back there. There's a total, I believe, 14 units in this clubhouse. And then we have to come up here and periodically and change filters. They're actually renovating, doing paint and new carpets. And that's originally why I was up here to uh, change the filters. And uh, I remember I ordered these a couple weeks back and we had them in a shop. So instead of coming up here over and over again, because there is no entrance, by the way, put all this stuff up here, these units, and you have to go through the hole of the ladder. Which is a pain, but that's why I don't want to come up here multiple times. Anyway, let me get started on this and I'll show you the end of it. Alright, so I got this one capped. Got those two removed. And I was just taking this one off and just... Look at the ton of water that was in that. I gotta get a rag and clean this up, but... That was all full of water is normal but that water should be traveling here okay it's waiting for my partner to go turn it on I'm gonna test it put the heat on but as you can see we got this long one runs the length of it so now the condensate will drip out and go to the trap this is still connected, I had to cut off an inch and reconnect it, um, change them both prior to it was on this side and this side was going up here, but they want you to switch it. So cut off an inch, reconnect it, um, remove the one on that side and discard, keep that one connected and plugged and put a cap over there. They actually don't say put a clamp, but why not? And for whatever reason, this one's missing. 
should all have. Let me show you. <clears throat> should have these little grommets go into it with the plastic uh, little cover. But this one's missing it. I gotta get that too. But this does have the rubber in it, so I ain't gonna. Or leak, I should say. All right, condensate inducer is on. I can hear condensate. And we get ignition, so I'm just gonna let this run, make sure I got no leaks. And that's pretty much it. So if you ever come to a unit that you hear water inside the inducer, you initially think, oh, it's a backup of the trap or the condensate line or tubings and things like that. This is another thing you gotta be mindful and look out on, uh, making sure. Pretty much you can't go wrong if the exhaust and the trap are on the same side. If it's the other way, um, you're across from each other, it's something you need to look at and address. And that's it. So, I'm done for now. Nice little Monday afternoon, and uh, I'm on call tonight, but that's all right. It's raining out and mild, um, so we're not getting heating calls or um, AC calls, that's for sure. All right, guys, talk to you later.